Hey Queen, so welcome back and I am back with another video and the name of the vendor that I'm working with today is New Star Hair. This is the new HD lace front wig. It is 20 inches and it's 180 density. So um, I decided to slay this wig today. As you can see, I am getting better with my install. Okay, if you're watching my video for the first time, okay, I am still in the learning process and I'm getting better and better every day. But anyways, let's get into the unboxing of the video. So this is what we came in. As you can see, it has this, um, a lot of styles in that, um, uh, booklet, whatever it's called. <laughs> and this is what the wig, um, looks like. As you can see, that's just the specs of the wig and straight out of the, the the pack this is what the wig looks like as you can see the lace is very thin and it's a little bit stretchy that is what the hd lace looks like it's way thinner than the regular lace and it, it's a little stretchy compared to the other lace um so yes this is the wig as you can see it has four inches of parting space in front adjustable strap and of course combs and this is the knots of the wig now one thing i'm going to make clear about the HD lace is also that it has to be on detectable knots I'm gonna get into that later okay but yes first of all let's just focus on how rich this hair is this hair is so amazing as you can see look at how silky and rich it is this hair is really nice okay so yes I did go into um, bleach the knots um, just a little bit off camera as usual and I am just going in with my B to Z um flat iron spray i sprayed it all over the wig and now i'm just going into flat iron the wig more um uh, because normally once you wash the wig it's not going to be bone straight but one thing i noticed about this wig one thing i loved about this wig as you just saw it wasn't really wavy compared to other ones most of the uh straight wigs that i always get once you wash the wig it just gets really wavy it looks like a regular body wave but with this wig you didn't get that much a wavy look it looked a little bit straight like you just saw so yes once i did that i am going in with my tailored crown um lace tin you guys lace tin is it makes a whole lot of difference you can see the difference once i sprayed it on before and after you can see like lace tin is the truth and it's tailored crown i'm gonna leave the link down below as well okay so when you get the edge lace as you just saw it was really white but once you go in with your lace tin it helps like it changes the color of the uh, lace that's if you don't want to use makeup well i still use makeup at the end of the day after my lace tin but the lace tin just helped the the wig uh look way more more natural than it would if you didn't okay because it's just usually kind of like too too white okay so yes it's not magic okay this wigs are not magic a lot of people are out there expecting magic it is not magic you gotta still put in the work even though it's hd lace sis you gotta put in the work okay but yeah you can see how well this wig just blends into my skin tone now that's what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about with the lace tin the lace tin makes a whole lot of difference yeah i need to get that okay you need to get that so yes um now what i'm doing is i'm just going in with my bad head um spray and i am just going in to to spray um um the spray on <laughs> on my skin you know to kind of like uh i'm securing the ear tab um, section first because I, I, I found out that that makes it way easier for me to work with when I secure that first but a lot of people don't do that a lot of people like to work from the middle I mean you know whatever you want to do it's cool <laughs> my method is not gonna work for everybody so this is just how I like to do mine so as you can see this baby is laid even without like the the lace thing just helped it this lace is the bomb okay and it really helped with my install it really helped with my install um like i said i'm not a professional um i mentioned earlier in the video if you're watching me for the first time this is i'm still in the learning process i am learning how to um install my wigs i just started using uh a spray a uh, few months ago and now I'm still learning I struggle a lot sometimes but yeah I am getting better I want to believe that I am getting a way better with my install yes and I'm gonna get even better than this hopefully 
so yes yeah, so what i'm doing right now is just um i am parting um the hair and i'm just putting the spray uh right where i'm parting it the reason i do that is that it helps my install to be neater than if i just put it on top of the spray uh that's what i do so i do it and then i i, I blow dry it when it's dry and then i just comb the entire thing backward and i feel it's neater that way for me like i said this is my method i have been experimenting to see what works better for me and this works way better for me um so yes that is what i'm just doing and now i'm just going in to cut the extra lace off um yes so i was saying something about the hd lace before now one thing with the hd lace is yes the lace is really thin you know the hd swiss lace it's really thin it makes it really easy for it to melt into your skin you know when you apply it if you want to use glue less as well like if you want to wear glue less without the spray as well it's very good but one thing about the lace it's not just the lace that makes the wig okay the knots has to be undetectable as well which means the knots have to be really thin you know for you to get that really nice look now if they're using the hd lace and they're making the knots really big then <laughs> the whole pro um, purpose has been defeated so that's it so that's one thing but because sometimes um i see some knots are bigger than the others but one thing is the the smaller the knots um the better it's gonna blend in but one thing about it it's not gonna last as long why because instead of putting maybe two to three sorry instead of putting maybe three to four strands per hole you're probably putting one to two strands which means it's very weak and then when you comb through it you know when you do all of that stuff it's gonna get bald and thin um faster but naturally you always have to change your frontal uh more often okay it's just a normal way it's not about bad hair or good hair naturally frontals just thin out after some time and you have to change it that's just the way wigs is okay look at that look at that like look at this install i haven't even done anything yet okay so i did go into um beat my face and yeah and this is it now this is the wig as you can see the install is really nice the lace really helped me a lot so now i'm just going in with my makeup to uh you know just make it blend a little more i mean i didn't really get this part very well i have to admit it but hey it's really hard for me to get it to, to blend like the part and everything to just match completely but like i said i'm still learning i am not a professional yet okay but i'm gonna get there <laughs> i'm gonna get there but yeah so that is what i am just doing now and one thing i want to mention is that um listen when you pulling off this a uh, no baby hair look it is extremely difficult okay so before you sit down there and criticize me and be like oh the insult is trash and stuff or whatever it is you want to say i wanted to keep this in mind pulling off the no baby hair look it is extremely difficult because if i want to do the baby hair look it's just easy for me to pull out those baby hair and just lick my edges and guess what the baby hair is going to cover the lace so you're not really going to see the whole mess um if you can remember previously in the video when i did the when i parted the hair to put the bed head spray on uh, on the wig you could see how it blended really well so imagine if i was doing that I get that hair piece out and then I just slick the edges and it's gonna cover the whole thing so yes when you're doing the baby hair it is way easier than when you're not doing the baby hair okay so yes that's why I'm happy with my install I'm getting better okay so yes yeah, so but anyways ah uh, yeah I did talk a lot but I wanted to get some things out there like i wanted to clear out some things and give you more information about wigs and all that good stuff so yes like i said the name of the vendor is new star hair this is a 13 by 4 hd lace front wig it is 20 inches and it's 180 density and this is a straight wig obviously everything about the wig is going to be down on the info section so be sure to click on it thank you all so much for watching until my next video bye